The 1950s was an important decade in US history. Its economy was booming, its military strength was on a different level from any other country in the world, and the US was at its peak in this period. Americans that lived in this time enjoyed a lot of benefits, however it wasn't all good. We're about to enter a time capsule, and I can tell you, you're in for a fun experience. Welcome to America's Trip Down Memory Lane channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about the highlights of arguably the most memorable time in America's history, the 1950s. In the 1950s, the world was just recovering from the Second World War, and it was as if everybody had the clarity that comes with having a near-death experience. People decided to live their lives to the fullest and do things that made them happy, which is probably why many say that the period was the best time to be alive. However, just like the highs of this period were really high, the lows were quite low. Only a group of people were able to enjoy the benefits of America's progress in these times, but members of other groups were victims of the bad times. These included inequality for women, racial discrimination, the Korean War, the civil rights movement, etc. We'll talk about everything, but before we get into the ugly parts of the 1950s, let's highlight the great moments. The post-war booms. As I mentioned earlier, the priorities of people changed after the Second World War, and this positively affected the US as a whole. Several sectors of the country were booming, the economy was booming, the suburban areas were booming, and quite interestingly, the birth rate in the country was also booming. Within this decade, the gross national product increased by more than double from $200 billion to over $500 billion, and this period was known as the golden age of American capitalism. This economic growth was owed to the government's investment in the construction of interstate highways, the building educational facilities, improving military technologies, and so on. The country's military was what other countries aspired for their military to be, and in the 1950s, the US government capitalized on that and made sure their military strength became more and more admirable. Next level airplanes, ammunition, and computers were introduced to the army, making the rest of the world envious. The former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill said at this time, America was at the summit of the world, and he was not wrong. In the 1950s, technology was introduced into the country. Today everyone has a smartwatch that can do practically anything, as well as large flat TVs that you can watch any time of the day. However, in the 1950s, the earliest prototypes of these gadgets were just being introduced to the population. They didn't have large TVs, but they have 12-inch black and white TVs where they watch their favorite shows only at specific times of the day. Today we have the luxury of binge-watching an entire series on streaming platforms like Netflix, Hulu, and the like, but that didn't exist back then. Also, the closest thing to smartphones back then was rotary phones. They were the kinds of phones which could almost only be used for making phone calls. While this sounds like something to endure, people who lived in the 1950s saw this as the ultimate luxurious experience, and they were so expensive, not everyone could afford them. Nonetheless, people actually earned good money in the 1950s. The rate of unemployment was really low, and most people were living well. Grocery was not expensive. Inflation was low, and as the economy expanded, there were more things to buy, and this was not a problem because most people could afford them. Another part of the US that boomed in this period was the suburban areas. After the war, many land developers went to the outskirts of the city to build a family and budget-friendly houses. As time passed, Buying one of these houses was even cheaper than renting a house in the city, and because of this, there was a large influx of people from the cities to the suburbs. The houses were spacious and neighborhood-friendly, which made the suburbs perfect for starting young families. This led to the so-called baby boom. In the 1950s, the US held the record for the highest number of babies born, with about 4 million babies being born each year. At the end of this baby boom period, over 77 million babies were born. Because the suburban boom had a lot to do with this, the suburbs were dubbed Fertility Valley, or the Rabbit Hutch. This was a huge improvement from earlier decades when people were scared to expand their families because of economic instability and wars. Then if people had children, it was because the parents looked forward to when they would be able to get jobs and assist the family. Now family life was very encouraged, and parents indulged their kids with toys, games, and clothes. Education was being prioritized. The economy was great, and parents were assured of a great life for their kids. Apart from new families, the suburbs were also built for war veterans, and it was the perfect place to retire. However, the benefits of the suburban areas were not extended to people of color or women. This leads us to the not-so-great parts of living in the 1950s. The Downsides of the 1950s 
Suppose you're a woman or a person of color. In that case, chances are you'd have hated living in the 1950s, as these categories of people were affected by the rampant inequality problem during that era. At this time in history, most people lived in a traditional household where the roles of both husband and wife were clearly defined. The man was saddled with the responsibility of financially taking care of his family. Every day he was expected to head out, go about his job, and bring back money to fund the lifestyles of all the personalities in his household. However, as a result, women were relegated to a part of society where their full potential could not be explored. When the suburban areas began to bloom, women were told to leave the workforce and focus on raising their children and tending to household needs. This led to the rise of the feminist movements in consequent decades as women were displeased with their roles society conferred on them. This wasn't the only inequality issue that was raised in the 1950s. There was also racial discrimination. African Americans had been fighting this problem of inequality for centuries. However, in the 1950s, the struggle against racism was heightened. White children were separated from black children, even at school. In the mid-1950s, white parents withdrew their children from public schools and enrolled their kids in all-white schools. The issue of inequality was also dealt with on the streets. In December 1955, a black activist named Rosa Parks was arrested for refusing to give up her seat on a city bus to a white person, and this led to a full-scale protest. As if that wasn't bad enough, it took the protest which lasted 13 months for the city bus companies to implement policies that shunned the discrimination of black passengers. It wasn't as if black people didn't have rights, they did. On paper, racism was an offense, but white people continued to bully African Americans and intimidate them from asserting their rights. Well, although racism now isn't as bad as it used to be in the 1950s, it's still a big problem if it exists even in the smallest capacity. Another negative element of the 1950s was the Cold War, characterized by the tension between the US and the Soviet Union. Even though this tension did not result in physical attacks between both parties, Americans were constantly on edge, especially during the Korean War, when the Soviet Union supported North Korea and the US supported South Korea. Well, even today, we can't exactly say that tension has cleared. However, we still hope that this low-key Cold War does not result in a full-scale war between the Soviet Union and the US. These ugly sides were really not great experiences, especially for the parties directly involved. Regardless, there were some elements of the 1950s that we all wish we had experienced, such as pop culture. It would have been great to live in the time when actors like Marilyn Monroe, James Stewart, Marlon Brando, Grace Kelly, and others dominated movie theaters. At the time, many American families were obsessed with shows like I Love Lucy, Leave It to Beaver, The Honeymooners, etc. As the movie industry grew, the number of televisions in the country increased during this decade, and rightfully so. The music industry was also introduced to rock music in this period, and was particularly popular among the younger generation. 1950 wasn't perfect, but it was undoubtedly an interesting time that shaped the history of the US. Thank you for watching this video, hit us up in the comment section and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.